In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize three of the most important pages on your e-com stores. And when we talk about optimization, we're talking about making some changes that's gonna generate you more revenue per visitor, or ultimately turn more clicks into customers. This is Optimization by Oliver, episode number 56. And in this episode, I picked the UK brand Patch Plants. Now these guys are completely revolutionizing the plant market here in the UK. I'm a customer of theirs myself, so I thought it'd be a great example to break down. And we start with page number one, which is your cart drawer or cart slider. Now we can see their before design on the left and our after design on the right. And there's two very subtle, but very effective changes I've made to this page. Start with point number one, I have added a free shipping prompt. Yet these guys have a tiny little message by the call to action on the before that tells you how far you are away from shipping. But the prompt and a bar like this that actually shows you the progress really helps customers visualize how far away they are from that free shipping. The best thing you can also do is incentivize people to add more products in their cart to then enable them to get a free gift. For example, here with a plant, we've just used an example of a free pot when they get to a certain average order size in their basket. We then have in-cart upsells that help add to that total. Point number two is we've got rid of the keep browsing button. We've tested this vigorously with a lot of our clients' stores and actually eliminating the notion of actually going back to the store helps keep more people in that buying journey and therefore checking out. We've used a big full width check out now button with a directional queue and we've backed it up underneath with those payment sales that helps establish trust and credibility. Secondly, moving on to the all important product page. And these guys actually do a really good job on their product page, but there is still some things I would test and do to increase their conversions. Number one, we've just pulled those value propositions and those trust elements further up above the fold. We've used this notice bar just below the navigation and it just gets that value proposition across a lot quicker. Number two, you can see that we've just changed the way the image is displayed. We've used directional cues being chevrons on either side and little thumbnails underneath the image, which helps people visualize and see visually that there's actually more images they can slide between. Studies and data have shown that the more people view images on a product, the more likely they are to then buy it. So just put it in front of them. Speaking of put it in front of them, number three is we have put a very clear social proof in the form of a rating just below the product images. We've used Trustpilot because Trustpilot is huge in the UK. It's what the UK public associates as a golden standard of trust and reviews. So it's a really easy change to uplift their conversion rates. You can also see as we've moved elements above the fold, we've actually managed to get more important elements and pulled everything up, which is super important. And number three, their homepage. And this is where I can see them having the biggest uplift in my suggestions, or maybe that average order value with the in-cart prompt progress bar. Number one is we've just used a nice notice bar that's colorful, it stands out. You read it first and foremost that reminds people that they can actually get free shipping over a certain threshold. Make sure you always pick, put a clickable link in that notice bar as well that goes through to your bestsellers or collection page. Number two, again, they lack any form of social proof on their site in the first few folds. So this is really easily combated by having that Trustpilot review way up the fold. Number three, don't forget your value proposition. Now they do this quite well, plants made easy. Personally, I would put that on one line if I was optimizing their store, but we've have gone with something that's a little bit more emotive and we've used a subheadline that actually visualizes the transformation of someone ordering and the beautiful plant landing on their doorstep. Number four is we've optimized the image. They just have a very boring picture of one plant. We've showcased a range of products. We've also put some social proof in there with actually having products that have been reviewed and it just gives a really nice way of showing off the whole collection as opposed to just one picture. Don't forget as well, we've optimized that all important call to action. We haven't given people the two choices, indoor plants and new plants. If these are new customers, would they really wanna click new plants? They don't even know what the existing plants are. So instead we've gone with one strong call to action 
that just takes people through to the whole collection, we would then sort that collection by best sellers and you'd get more people adding the best sellers into the cart. And number five, we've used images and text to further establish the value and value proposition in these incredible plants and helped tick that trust and credibility box. If you'd like more breakdowns, make sure you check out our YouTube channel and make sure you get in touch with us at conversionwise.com if you want us to optimize your store and turn more clicks into customers. I'll see you on the next video.